hey y'all and welcome back to another video y'all i'm so late to this party this train i'm late y'all but i can't and i brought snacks i'm so late i'm recording this video at my desk and crazy like because i wanted to get up this is how dedicated i wanted to get up y'all i'm like i gotta hurry up i'm already running late anybody got time for the rain like i got it but the light coming in i'm sitting next to a window and i'm got a fan because y'all i'm hot these dreads is hot so I'm bad fan, so if hopefully y'all can hear me over the time. I'm trying to speak a little louder so you guys can hear me. But I'm doing the Get to Know Me video. All of you, all my YouTubes, sister did it. All of them did it. Angel's Lifestyle did it. I'm going to tag her down below. Make sure y'all check out her channel and her video that she did it. Um, just Doris did it. You know, I'm late. I, they, they, she told me to do it, and I'm like, I'm sorry, sis, but I'm here. But I'm going to tag a couple of my other YouTube sisters. I'm going to make sure y'all check out my YouTube sisters down below that I tag. I'm, I'm going to try to see if they did it. I think my girl Shay did it. I'm, I'm going to tag her down below. I think she did, but if you didn't do it, sis, you do it. And I'm going to tag my cousin if he does it, because I know she did not do it. You do it, too. But make sure y'all check the description box down below for all my YouTube sisters' video. Their channel, check out their videos. You know, vibe with them. Subscribe, y'all. So I'm going to do this really quickly i'm not gonna go too fast i'm gonna do this because i'm late and like they say better late than ever you know you're better late than ever and i'm here and i brought snacks i brought the good snacks too i brought the good snacks so i'm trying to do this right now before the whole house gets to jump in and it get loud up here so i'm going to do this before i do this though make sure y'all if you haven't already make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up for me showing up to the party late all right so it's a couple i think it's like nine questions total I think I gather all the questions, y'all. So I'm gonna answer them for you. Here we go. So number one, what is your favorite color as a kid and now as an adult? By the way, I'm using my phone for to do this. That's neither here nor there. So my favorite color as a um a child and as an adult. So when I was a kid, I was younger. My favorite color was red. Red was my thing. Red was my color. I love red. I also love gray. Like red and gray was like right there, neck and neck. So those is my favorite colors. Now as an adult, and y'all know me, especially if y'all been watching this channel for a while, y'all already like, we know this before she even said, it's pink. It's pink. It's, it's, it's pink. I, I love me some pink. Pink is like my go-to color. I will, if I'm buying something, I'm, I'm going to go for the pink first. I'm going to buy it in pink. Like if they got pink, I'm going to buy it in pink. I'm going to go for pink. I just always like the crazy part about y'all pink was not like I said it was not my color it was not my thing I just kind of fell in love with pink I did and that's like my favorite color pink rose gold and gold but pink y'all it is my wedding my wedding was to have the pink in there I love it my living room has pink in it right now but it's not too much but I pink is my favorite color okay next question is where do you want to visit in the world so in the world I've always wanted to go to Paris. Since I was younger, I always wanted to go to Paris. I always wanted to go, you know, speak fluently the language with the locals. Um, I know I don't speak French, but at the time I was I had was taking French class. I know a little bit. I think I know enough to be able to manage, but not enough to be able to live there. I know enough to visit, plus Google Translate, but not enough to live there. So I was going to go to France, you know, embrace the culture, see all the sights, eat all the foods, because y'all know I'm a foodie. So I definitely, definitely was France. And then Africa. One day I want to go to Africa. I have a friend that's from Africa. She been trying to get me to go to Ghana. One day it's going to happen. And when it happens, y'all can see it on YouTube. Y'all can see it. Okay, um, next question. Um, are you married or single? I'm married. Um, I just got married June 18th, the shameless plug, but the wedding video will be an iCard. Uh, yeah, I got married June 18th. We've been together for 18 years. We grew up together. Like, literally, we were like 18, 18 when we met. We grew up together 18 years, but we finally officially did the wedding, and then, which I feel like it was the perfect time. It was, it was the perfect, perfect time. Um, our wedding date was I, I'm all about I wanted to pick a date um, that represented something like a lot of people was picking 2 22 22 which I ain't gonna lie I did want that but it didn't mean enough to me so I picked 6 18 22 which represents our us as a whole that's 6 us and our 4 children um, 
18 representing the 18 years that we have been together. The two of the two represents our two boys and our two girls. So yes, I'm married. We're coming up on our um, two month anniversary this month. Uh, next question. Do you have any children? And if so, how many? Yes, I do. I have four children that go in order of girl, boy, girl, boy. I have a 17 year old, a 13 year old, a 10 year old, and a five year old. Y'all always see the five year old. Y'all see him more than anybody coming in a minute. Hey, thumbs up, subscribe. Like, y'all know the Bobo. He gonna make his way in one of my videos no matter what. So yes. And plus, y'all just seen him as last week against retail therapy on. I do have children. Um, maybe possibly another one. I don't know. It's not 100% off the table. It ain't 100% on the table. When I find out, y'all gonna find out too. Because I'm gonna need my, uh, these aunties to uh, help. <laughs> okay, um, next question. Why did you create your YouTube channel? I created my YouTube channel a long time ago. Um, with the idea of... I wanted to be able to capture memories. I wanted to do more. Hold on, I got to more. I wanted to be able to capture more live and living color memories. Um, I wanted that nostalgia of it. I love the nostalgia of YouTube. Now, when I first started, I was like, okay, I can't wait to get to years down the line. I'll be able to look at these videos back and my kids could see how they were when they were younger. And this and the third. And it really got sparked from a reality TV show I was watching. I don't, I can't remember the exact name. I know it was Gene Simmons' um, reality show he had. And then as his reality show, he will always show like home videos in his in a reality show. And I would watch it, and I was like, oh my god, I need to capture more videos, like capturing pictures. You know, that's my thing. That, that's my that's my judge. Y'all know I'm a photographer, so capturing pictures is, is second nature to me. But video was not always something that I would gravitate towards, but that sparked it. So I'm like, this would be perfect. Like, I can capture videos. I can share videos on my YouTube. And that basically hold me accountable to get me to create more videos. I love it. And I it definitely keeps me connected. I've met some great people um, through YouTube. Still, I, great relationship. I'm... My good sis, check them out. They'll be down below. So I've met some, made some great friends and sisters through YouTube. So that's why I created I love it. Um, it does get hard. I, I've thought about walking away, you know, before. But one of the things that definitely kept pushing me, one, well, two of the things that kept pushing me was the, the people I've met who talked to me and encouraged me to keep going. And as well as the, the nostalgia of it, being able to look back at the videos and look at the memories and be like, wow, look at where this little, look how this, look at that. So that's why. Um, next question is my favorite road trip or vacation. So my favorite road trip is something that we just started last year that we actually coming up on this year. We do a family four day fun day where we take four days in August and we just we road trip. We hit up everywhere we want to hit up. We plan. So last year, I said we just started last year. So last year, day one, we went to the zoo, walked around the entire zoo, had a ball, came home, fixed these outrageously enormous sub sandwiches, pigged out, had a ball, and crashed eventually because we was exhausted. Um, day two, we went to go see wrestling live, which was y'all know we're wrestling family. It started with my dad. It's it's just in us. We go see wrestling live. We had a ball. It was amazing. Next day, got up bright and early. Got the rental. Took off on the road. We went to go. We went to. Um, I'm trying to see the first day because we had like a thing for the kids like land and sea because they didn't know it was a surprise. So they knew about the first two days, which we told them. We kind of scheduled it perfect to tell them. Like we surprised them with it, but we surprised them before. But these two days, they they actually. Three or four, day three and day four, they had no clue. We just, they knew once we got there. So we actually went to the world largest outlet mall we have here. We took them to the, the aquarium. Uh, we hit up every store. Yeah, you want to go to this store? We're going to go to this store. You want to go here? You want to go there? We just road trip to different parts of the, of the state and we had a ball. Um, day four, we went to, we drove out far. I mean, I've never been on so many freeways in my life. It felt like we drove out far to this amazing beach. Had an amazing fun beach day, water park day. So to me, our family four day is like my favorite road trip. And it's coming up 
again so y'all look out for that vlog because this year the theme is spontaneous trips four days of spontaneous not planned just basically getting up and going and exploring spontaneous okay um next question is what is your favorite inspirational song y'all i didn't have to find a song a song found me i get i god knew what he was doing when he let that song find me the song is called it's donald lawrence and the tri county singles i believe don't but it's the one as deliver me when leandria day is singing y'all I was mad in my business. I gotta tell you. So I hope I ain't gonna make this video too long. I was mad in my business, y'all. I was mad in my business. Sitting on my couch, relaxing. Scrolling through Facebook. Y'all know how they show the videos. I come across it like, oh, okay. It was on Sunday's best. Come across it. The moment she, he opened his mouth to start at first. To start at talking first and talking about the song. Talking about overthinking. I was in there. I said, God, he talking to me. Because I'm a notorious overthinker. She got to singing that song, Deliver Me, because all I seem to do is hurt me. Lord, I was in tears on that couch. If I was home by myself, ironically. I'm just with Bobo, and I believe he was napping. Y'all, somebody would have came in with thoughts on what's wrong with me. I was in tears. And I tell you, that song spoke to my soul. I love that song. That is, that song, it. Y'all, y'all, if y'all haven't heard it, y'all listen to that song is, I'm going to try to see if I can find that video on YouTube, the one, the exact one that I watched when she was singing live, because that girl, no, that girl, that you can feel her testimony when she sing, it's just, it touches you, so if I can find it, I'm going to link it down below, but if I can't find it, y'all, just look for it when she's singing on Sunday's Best with Donald Lawrence and the Tri, I think it's a tri County singer that's delivering me, y'all look for it, it, it y'all, it, it, it touched me deep. Okay, um, whew, I got my let's go. I, just, it, it's, I feel it like when I even talk about that song, I feel it. It's like, whoo, okay, okay. I'm about, to, I'm about to, y'all about to get Deacon Tasha in a minute. Hold on, y'all. Okay, what is the biggest thing that changed since your childhood? Um, wow, that's a good one. I feel like I'm more, I'm not as aggressive as I was as a child. I feel like I was more, rawr, like I was no hoes, but I was aggressive. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't going around like beating up people and stuff like that, but I was really aggressive. Um, I'm not gonna go into the backstory of everything, but I was, I was really like, no, I'm not taking no, no mess. You go, you're not gonna hurt me. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to hurt me. You're not going to talk me crazy because I'm going to give it to you back even more crazy. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go there. I'm going to go there harder. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you want to fight? Well, let's fight. Like, it was, I was, that was me. As a teenager, I was known as a fighter because I wasn't, I wasn't, no, I'm not taking your mess. I don't want to conversate about it. We're going to dance. Let's dance. I don't want to do that. Now, true enough today, you know, I'm still, I'm not aggressive, but I will definitely defend myself and defend my family, of course. But back then, I was just, I was really aggressive. And now it was, and I know why. You know, we're not gonna go into that. But yeah, I was like, what you say to me? Oh no, let's dance. It wasn't a conversation. It wasn't me trying to sit down and figure out this. It, it wasn't. It wasn't that. It, it wasn't. So that's changed a lot, especially when I became a mother. Um. It changed a lot. I I learned how to handle my anger and my aggression that I had in different ways. I learned how to manage it. I learned that I don't need to I don't need to use my hands. I don't need to make my words go lethal. You know, I don't I don't need to do that. You know, I, I can I just don't. Like it's it's hard to explain, but if y'all can relate and y'all know what I mean, it just comes so far you're like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't you you don't get the power over me anymore. You don't you don't get to make me this angry anymore. You don't get to make me this aggressive anymore. I'm good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not longer gonna give you that power anymore to have me aggressive, to have me angry. I'm not gonna give it to you anymore. So basically I took my power back when I became a mother, when I got pregnant. I took my power back. Okay, um the last question is the most inspirational thing you experience. So 
So this was gonna be like, what? How was that an inspiration? But I'm on. I'm gonna explain it to you. But the most inspirational thing I ever experienced. One of it's been a lot, but the one I would have to say that changed me and made me look at things totally different was my house fire. And they're like, what a house fire? Yeah, it did. My house fire that I had two years ago, um, April 2020. I'm sorry, April That's when we moved in. February 2020, and the COVID, when COVID came to play, um, my house fire was the worst. Literally, literally was the absolute worst thing I've ever been through in my life. It was horrible. It was, it was horrible. Um, I felt like I was in mourning. I felt like I felt when I lost my dad, when I was going through the house fire. I, I, I don't wish nothing bad on anybody ever. I, I definitely do not wish a house fire. It was hard. It was hard for me. I have to give you the backstory of his soccer tape inspiration. It was hard. I watched my kids cry one by one every day because they just wanted to go home. They just wanted a home. They wanted some place to call home. They just they wanted the things that they lost. They did, even though I, of course they were appreciated. We are alive and that we made it. Um, especially like me and my son, we were in the house the whole time. It was burning and didn't know. But the reason why I say it was it, it became an inspirational to me because just before the house fire. I remember, like, for the new year coming, I said, oh, I want to get closer to faith. I want to get closer to faith. And I didn't know there was going to be a house fire to help push me to it. But when God said, I'm going to push you, I'm going to push you. When God said, I know what's best for you, I know what's best for you, I had just made up my mind. And I said, I'm not moving. I'm not. Even though I, we needed to move. We just, I said, we just needed to move. I said, I ain't moving to give one more year. God said, oh, you're not going to move? Oh, you think you're going to stay here? I'm going to have to get you out of this house because y'all being stubborn. How dare y'all say what y'all not going to do? I said you're going to go. So he took us out the house. I mean, he did. He made sure we couldn't live back there no more. And in the beginning, I didn't, I didn't understand it. I thought, you know, you, I didn't understand. I was like, oh, my God. My house, I don't know where it lived. I went through the motions. But in the midst of that, I got closer to faith. I got closer to my faith. And I tell y'all, me and God talk every morning. Every morning. I out loud in my car. Taking my kids to school before the school shuts down. Taking up to work before, you know, I have to take them. Every, I'm talking. Now I stop. I'm talking in my head when I'm just sitting down watching TV. I'm talking when I'm just trying to figure out things. I'm, 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 we're talking constantly. He was keeping me grounded. That, my tragedy became the thing that got me closer to faith where I am now. It did. It, it, it made me so strong. It made me... I didn't think I was that strong. I didn't think I was that strong. When I was buckling, and my I, I, I crumbled, literally. God kept picking me back up. You got this. I got you. I got you. Don't you worry. You may not see it right now, but I got you in your family. That became, it, it changed me. It made me look at things differently. It made me look at things differently the way I look at things now. I don't look at things now as like, Oh man, why that happen? It looking like you know what it happened for a reason. It happened for a reason. It wasn't meant to be. It was. It just wasn't meant to be. It's okay. God has something better for me in store, so I'm not worried about it. Or, or you know how you look at things like, oh, I wanted this, but this came because that wasn't meant for you. Because this was meant for you. Because what God has for you is for you. Well, it's yours. It's yours, and it's gonna be the, It's gonna be for you. And. It changed, like I tell, oh my God, I'm trying to keep the emotions back. One day, one day I'm going to talk about the fire. I feel like one day I need to release it because I feel like I need to talk about it. I'm like, I've never talked about it in full detail on my YouTube channel. Maybe I will. But it, it, it's, it's so, it's just hard to put in words, y'all. I, I was broken. And he, that fire fixed me. Going through that fire fixed me. It fixed me. He he showed me you. I'm stronger. I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was. He showed me I can get through anything. And the fact that I feel like I was mourning the death of my father. That's how I feel like I was in mourning all over again. The not eating. The not sleeping. I was going through all that. And when I tell you God picked me up. I said, uh -uh. you going to get through this. Yeah, you you going to get through this. Like I got to tell you one time I was. I was getting. It was getting. It was like March. And y'all I was. I was broken. I was broken. I was putting on a happy face for my kids because of my mother. That's what I have to do. I, they, I need to go through it. Y'all don't need to go through it. 
I got this. And I was, things, houses was not coming through. I was just like, what am I going to do? And God just told me, make that phone call. What are you doing? Make, I flipped, I have, I don't, now here's the thing. I don't never keep text messages a lot. So I delete them. But I kept this one. Every time I'm going to do that, I kept them. Once I made that phone call, the first thing I heard was, I've been waiting on your call. I'm waiting on your call. I'm waiting on you to come get this house. Why you ain't call? I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting to hear from you. And in my mind, I was like, whoa. Whoa. Because this was, a, I passed this house up two days after the fire. But like I said, what God has for you is for you. He going to keep it for you. He knew that how, this, this house that I'm in now, this is the house. He knew that this was for me. And he kept it for me. And brought it right back to me. So, it's a lot. Y'all get what I'm saying. It made me stronger. It, it made me look at things different. It made me closer to my faith. Everything. So, yes. My tragedy became one of the biggest inspirations of my life. It did. And I, I, I know some may get it, some may not. But it did. It just, it molded me. It molded me and it, it showed me how strong I am. And it got me closer to my faith. And it got me here. To who I am today. So that's it. But I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna stop y'all because I'm going there. I'm, I'm gonna stop. So thank y'all for watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. One video. Your girl doing longer videos these days. I'm doing good because y'all know you. I will drop a quick vlog, a little short vlog in a minute. But I'm doing longer videos these days. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. And as always, see you guys in my next video. As always, pieces.